Hi, my name's Jamie Humphreys and welcome today to Gear for Music here in York where we are taking a look at some splendid Music Man guitars and uh, we're kicking off with this Ernie Ball Music Man Reflex guitar. This one has the Game Changer technology which is um, a wonderful electronic system that enables you to completely rewire the guitar. The uh, Reflex guitar started out life as, um, as I said, as the 25th anniversary. It's basically a larger bodied axis. It's a basswood body which has been chambered, so it's got tone chambers all the way round. So it's very lightweight, but it's also very resonant. It's a great, great tone woods in this guitar. The thing you'll always get with a Music Man guitar is really exquisite build quality as well as great tone woods. The necks on Music Man guitars always feel like they've been played in for years. They're incredibly comfortable guitars. This has a comfort cut here for your arm to go over the top. It also has a mahogany tone block as well that runs through the, the middle of the guitar. We've got the uh, instantly recognizable Music Man uh, 4 and 2 headstock. The headstock sits back slightly so that you've got really straight string pull across the nut. Um, which aids the, uh, the tuning stability. There's no need for a string retainer on this. We also have the compensator nut, which enables you to have really good in tuning intonation all over, the, uh, all over the neck. We've got three custom wound Damasio pickups. This particular guitar is a humbucker and two single coils. We also have a twin humbucker guitar in the range. We've got one sitting next to me here. This has got the humbucker covers on, so a little bit more of a classic look to it. We've got a single volume control, a single tone control, a five-way selector. We've got a Music Man vintage whammy bar, which when you get the guitars new, they're sent against the body. These controls here also double up the uh, volume control when you press it is a store button and the tone control when you pull it up that access is bank B. So it's almost like having two guitars with two five-way switches on it. So uh, like I said up here we've got bank Z which has got 16 um, patches in it but uh, one of those patches is a mute and you can find a sound that you like and then store it anywhere. Or with the wonders of modern science we can actually now plug our guitars into our phones and control it. I am using the uh, Game Changer app, the Ernie Ball app, on uh, my iPhone. And um, just with a little iRig and a MIDI cable, I can now program um, and rewire, should I say, my guitar. Because it's not a digital guitar, it's a completely analog guitar. But I can rewire it and then save the sounds that I make onto, uh, into the guitar and then unplug it, take it on a gig. Right, let's run through some of the sounds. Um, basically, the way I've got mine set up, I've got the kind of factory um, setting on bank A. So we've got a humbucker. <laughs> then we have some combinations of using um, the uh, two outer coils, so a little bit of a twangy. <laughs> In the middle, we've got um, our single coil. Then we have our inner coils, gets a bit Hendrixy. pickup, which is a nice, really woody uh, sounding pickup. One of the things I also love about this is with the tone control on these guitars, they're a tone control that actually does something. You can get that really nice, kind of rich, old school Eric Clapton, quite, you know, saturated. I've just kicked in a boost pedal, um, just backing down the volume now. <laughs> So you can hear I'm getting quite a lot of tones out of the guitar already just uh, with the with, with bank A just messing around with the, the volume control, the selector switch and the tone control. Now we're going to go to bank B. Just to give you an example of one of the tones that I've got on here which is on um, bank B on, on one, selector one, um, I'm using just the bridge coil one of the bridge, so I get that kind of skanky sort of, I'm probably like a telly-ish tone. Skip 
skip through some of the sounds as well on Bank Z, or Bank Z, sorry, I turned American there for a split second. So this is Bank Z, so. Say for instance, I find a sound I really like, I've just taken the guitar out of the box. Okay, what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna push down the volume control. That's muted it. I'm going to now move the pickup selector into the position I wanted. And that sound has now been stored onto, onto that patch. So I can go. And now I've come back to that sound again. So it's really easy to just use this switch here to program the guitar without having to plug it into um, any form of app. Right, now we're going to take a look at the app. I'm using it on my iPhone today, and um, there's a few different ways that you can use this. You can either just simply click on a coil. Right now I've turned on coil one. When I push the audition button, that will then send that setting into the guitar. So now we only have coil one working. I can push it again, it goes blue. That means it's out of phase. Press again, we've got coil two. Press again, it's out of phase. Then again, now we have the two pickups running in parallel. One of the coils out of phase, other coil out of phase. You can also drag your fingers across and do a bit of a lucky dip and see what settings you get out of it. So right now, we've got um, uh, coils one and two. I can actually change the view um, if I flip it over that way. All of these are running in parallel with each other. So I've got coils one, two, three, and four running in parallel, but I've got uh, two, and th uh, two and five are out of phase. So that's, that you get, it's great fun to do that as well. Um, let's put some crunch on. So I really like those squawky kind of sounds. You never get those out of a regular guitar. If I now go, I'm going to change the view. What we've got here is the grid, and I really love the grid. Um, the grid, basically, you've got your coils there. You've got your in point and then your output. So I can go, I can just wire, just join the grid together in any combination that I want and just make up bizarre pickup configurations. So now we've got coils one out of phase to coil two, coil four is in phase and coil five is out of phase. So I don't know what this is gonna sound like. It might sound cool. <laughs> And again, once you've come up with the sound and you like it, you can audition it by pushing the little music note at the top. If you like the sound, then we can store it into the guitar. And you don't have to have your phone connected to it if you take this out on a gig. The way I normally do it is, is if I've got a recording session to do or a gig where I want to have a multitude of different sounds, I set up bank A and bank B according. You can also, if you're using the, um, the online app, you can save your own sounds and you could have them for different bands that you're playing, for instance. You might be in a rock band or you might be in a function band or or whatever, and you can just, as you go from band to band, you can just dump the settings in for that particular gig or that particular band. Anyway, I hope that's given you a little bit of an idea of what this guitar is capable of doing. As I said, it's a beautifully made American guitar, uh, exquisite woods, straight out of the box, it feels great. Music Man's always have a neck to die for. Um, lots and lots of tonal possibilities with this guitar, either if you're just using the presets that come with the guitar or if you choose to plug it into either a computer or into your phone or your iPad for uh, experimenting with the app. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation today on The Game Changer. I'd like to thank all the guys here at Gear for Music for being very patient with me today and uh, letting me sit in a beautifully clean studio. And um, I've had a lot of fun. And please uh, check out this guitar. I'll see you soon. Bye.